So I kind of walked into my boss's office and I was thinking, they're gonna make me quit. Like I can't, what's the solution? You can have it all. Yep, that's one big thing that my guest today, Erin Woodbury, shares with us. Erin is living her dream life as wife, mom to three, and she's the chief clean chef for Quest Nutrition. Join me today as I sit down with her to learn how she is living her passion, how she found her dream job, how she balances it all, and how you can do it too. Erin, girlfriend, I like have been wanting you to come here for so long. I've been stalking you, right? I love that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And if it's finally happening and now we're giddy. Oh my gosh. And and just the fact that you're here and I know you have such a busy schedule. So yeah. uh, I'm excited for you to just share so much about you. You're so beautiful, as Aww, everyone can see. Thank but you. you know, and you and you have such a you know wonderful family and oh, thank and you. the cool thing is is that you're doing what you love. And you know, besides being mom and wife. Um, and you've just found this passion of yours, and, and I'm so proud of you, and that's why thank I want you, you here today. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here, and thank you. share that if it, if it yeah. helps anybody. I mean, oh, that's it's just going to help so, so many people, good. because just you and I sitting here talking before, yeah. is it's uh, gave me chills, I told you. I know, so I know, I love that. So you're taking over. Oh gosh, Sh you okay. know, Share about you, so people who don't know um, you, share about you know what you're doing, and who you are, and just give us Erin in a nutshell. Okay, let's let's go for the short <laughs> the short version here. The um, cliff notes. The cliff notes. Yeah. So, um, I mean, my name is Erin Woodbury, and I have a vlog and a blog and a Facebook page and an Instagram page, and that's kind of where awesome. everything got started mm -hmm. because I have a passion for healthy cooking, mm -hmm. for helping people, and for fitness. And so awesome. I. I've been working on a way to marry all of those things and in the process I've tried the entrepreneurial route and I have worked for other people and all of those things were great and I've learned so much and I've gotten a great education along the way mm -hmm. but I was really looking for that thing where I could say you know what I'm, I've got the perfect marriage of my passion and my purpose right. and then time with my family and I can yeah. honestly say that right now I'm living that I have that <sighs> That's and so it came great. from a lot of hard work mm -hmm. and it came from a lot of trial and error. Yeah. But um, really through just doing what I love to do every single day and working hard at that, yeah. really good things started coming my way. I just, I really feel like I started attracting yeah. all of that. Mm -hmm. And then I've been really blessed to have my dream job. So I work at oh. Quest Nutrition. But you know, that that's really like what my, I want my message yeah. to be is mm -hmm. that, you know, you can work for somebody else. Actually, let me reverse. Let yes. me say that I really think you can have it all. Yeah. And that was a statement to the contrary that I made about two months ago. Yeah. And so, um, you know, the backstory in that was I, I had this dream job. I was working at Quest Nutrition, yeah. doing what I love to do, cooking for them, making making um, cookbooks, working mm -hmm. on the 15 second recipes wow. and getting my creative energy out all the time. But it came at a price and I wasn't home as much with right. my family. And you have three kids. I have three what children. What are their ages? They're 13, or four, she just turned 14. 14, 9, and 3. Those are busy years. They're busy years, okay. and I have the most amazing husband yeah. who, like, anybody who's anybody wants to spend time with. He's, yeah. he's smart and funny, and I love being with him. Mm -hmm. And I just realized I was commuting up to L.A. Wow four days a week and working from home one and as passionate as I was about this job, I realized that something was, I was sacrificing something. Right. So I kind of walked into my boss's office and I was thinking, they're gonna make me quit. Like I can't, what's the solution? Mm -hmm. And I remembered something that Shalene said at a yes. conference and she said, you'll never know unless you ask. Mm -hmm. You just have to ask. So I went in after working for, for full time for about eight months and I just said, um, I'm feeling like my family really needs me. And without hesitation, the president of the company said, tell us what your ideal situation is and we will make it happen. Oh. And that's when I said, I know I can't have it all. And he said, but, but you can. Oh. And so, Makes fast me cry. I know, because, yeah. and I did yeah. a lot. Uh -huh. um, but that's what I realized was, you know what, I need to dream bigger for myself first of all, and then I just need to ask mm -hmm. and then figure out what all those things were. So right. we were talking earlier and I was saying, um, you know, I really had to identify what do I want mm -hmm. and what do I need? Mm -hmm. And um, when I identified all those things, I wanted to keep working. I wanted yeah. to keep feeling like I was contributing and making a difference. Mm -hmm. And then I needed to be with my family. Right. So I brought those two things together and now I work two days a week <sighs> at the office, which is great. That's Wonderful. I work one day a week from home, which is awesome, and I'm also home more. That's so great. So all of those things have melded together oh. to, to bring me to this place where I'm like so fulfilled yeah. and, and really living my dream. Oh, that makes me want to cry, first of all. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for 
asking. I you know. never know. It's so scary and it to do. it can be the littlest thing in life or something that's going to be life-changing. Yeah. I always tell my kids, you have to ask. You too. You have to ask. You never know. And and because of the president um, doing yeah. that for you, I will forever be a customer. Because right. valuing family is huge, you know, for me. And my loyalty always stays with companies that you know value family so that's they're the amazing. real deal and yeah. and you know the, the the two of us were chatting a little before this and you know we've gone to Shalene Johnson's amazing yes. programs smart success MIA and I always tell everybody I know you you have to attend live seminars like that oh, you totally. know especially if you're wondering you know what you should be doing you know and um, and both of us have learned you know it's really great to be your own boss I preach that all the time yeah. however not everybody wants to they want to do what they love but they don't want to be the business owner. So for yeah. you, did you think that you wanted to be your own I boss did. for a long time? Or I did, and mm -hmm. and there are parts of me that still do, yeah. and I don't think that that's out of the question. Right. But because I've done both programs, mm -hmm. so smart success and identifying my priorities, if my yes. true priorities are my children, creating a business that you don't necessarily need right. to do uh, right, right now, now. Mm -hmm. um, might not be the best thing, and right. I, I felt a little pressured inside yeah. to make it happen. Right. I didn't exactly know the direction I wanted to go. Yeah. I knew that I can make awesome recipes. Mm -hmm. Like I'm super good at what I do. Yes. How can I bring that to the masses and create a business? There right. are some avenues that I yes. can do that. But um, the process that it was, the toll that the process was taking on me yes. and the late hours that I was spending and how distracted I had become really took me away mm -hmm. from my priorities. Right. And so again, when I looked at what I needed and what I wanted and how fulfilled I already was, yeah. I realized that right now, yeah. being an entrepreneur is not right for me right, right now. Mm -hmm. But in my toolkit, yeah. I've got all those things. Oh, yeah. And they're never going away. No, no. Like my toolkit is chock full. I love it. And I will always go to those seminars. Yeah. I will keep, oh, always. I will keep mm -hmm. going and paying and, and being in that environment mm -hmm. of all those just go-getters yeah. because that to me is constant learning. Oh, right. And and yeah. I need to be learning And to be all surrounded by all of that positivity. Yeah, and you come back, you're just like, oh my gosh. And even at Quest, you're going to be a better employee because yes. all of what you've learned. I don't ever want to be complacent. And yeah. so that's what that mm -hmm. does for me. Yeah. And so, yes. Yes, I have my blog and I can continue with that and there are some ways to monetize that. Yeah. But I don't necessarily have to be this huge entrepreneur right. where that's where I'm going to invest all of right. my time right. because I'm getting the fulfillment I need yeah. in those other places. So speaking of getting your fulfillment, you are an amazing chef. You know, I mean, just, it's crazy. You're part <laughs> of this cookbook. I Hello, am. that's amazing. It's the Quest Cheat Clean Cookbook. It I is. love and We're that. coming Cheat out clean. with version two, oh. which actually, um, the other side of what I do and what I went to college for, because I didn't yeah. go to culinary school. Like, okay. I'm totally self-taught. Wow. So the funny irony about what I do is that I, I went to college and got my bachelor's degree in English and I got my master's degree in education, yeah. and yet I roll into this position where I'm totally self-taught. Right. And so it was just me working for them um, at amazing. the time. We've since hired on a couple more chefs, and they are classically trained chefs. So I'm learning a lot yeah. from them, right. but the nice part is I get to use my education, right. and I am now one of the editors for the cookbook. Okay, hello. So that's pretty that cool. That is sick. So I'm actually in the throes oh of version gosh. two for our next round of cookbooks. So not only are you contributing to the recipes, but you're helping with the writing. And then I love in the, is it Erin's Test Kitchen? Erin's Test those. Kitchen. People that need is to go watch blog. those. Thank you. Yes. So that lives on YouTube. It okay. is Erin's Test Kitchen and, so cool. and Quest produced that oh, show for yeah. me when I was working full time for them and yeah. we roped my three year old into a lot Hello, of Flynn. <laughs> like I want to hang out with Little him. Flynn I want him to like host this with me one well, day. Well he he will do you, it. Can he take my spot if he I'm sick? Absolutely. Okay. Flynn is going to be my uh, next, I can't do promise my next he's video. gonna wear a clean shirt. That's okay. It's okay. Easy. That's, not, that's not even necessary. Okay. But he is so adorable. He it's is. ridiculous. We have a lot of fun. So Aaron's Test Kitchen. People Aaron's need to look Test that up Kitchen on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good recipes and you're really talented. Thank now you. you just brought a little thought into my head. Yes. Your, so the way you found your job through Quest, <laughs> yes. hello, is by putting your stuff out there on Instagram. I did. Like, I just amazing. put it out there. So this is, this is kind of a testimony to anybody who yes. just doesn't really feel like they can, I don't know, make a difference or, right. or get their name out mm -hmm. there. But um, my 12 year old at the time, Ashton, my daughter, was like, mom, why are you just giving away all your stuff on Facebook? Like, so I love the impersonation. You need, right? Yes, you have a teenager, you need to do yeah. it on Instagram. So fumbling through, I figured out my way on yeah. Instagram and I started posting. And then my little one, 
one would teach me the different hashtags that I needed to use. And are you kidding? I, she that did. Is, she did. Before so Shaleen great. came along, yeah. along and really taught me yeah. how to do it, I was getting help that's from my, my team. We can learn from the teams. Really yeah, can. Mm -hmm. it's amazing. They know what's going They're on. They're so smart. Yeah. So yeah, so I started posting and doing all my hashtags and then oh they've gosh. got such an amazing social media team, as you yes, know, yes. and that's how they've become the second fastest right. growing company oh in the country gosh. in 2014, basically through social media. Crazy. But one of the social media people over there reached out to me and was like, hey, can we feature this recipe? Will you be the recipe of the week? And I just created a nice relationship and yeah. then... I knew that they were going to be at a conference that I was going to be at. And I was like, well, I might as well make them a pie. Yeah. So I did. I made them a, a coconut cream pie and I made them a sweet potato pie. And I, I just brought it in a little box. And who else was there, of course, was all the big wigs. And it was Quest creator herself, herself Shannon Penna, Are you who actually created the Quest Bar. So I was having like a geek out moment yeah. when I met her yeah. and um, was just on and on and on and on. But we really hit it off. Wow. And so I just, again, that's just a lesson to put yourself out there. Yes, you were brave. Right. But I had no hesitation. I just did it. I had nothing to lose. Oh, Two so weeks later, awesome. I got an email saying, will you come into Quest? We want to meet with you. And it was a full-on um, job interview, which oh, I had goodness. no, I, I was not prepared for this at all. I would have brushed up on yeah. my interviewing techniques. Oh, my but gosh. I just went in there, and they just rapid fire started asking me questions. Mind you, I wasn't looking for a job. Right. Like I was a mom. But at that time, I was really struggling because okay. I was going through all the entrepreneurial stuff yeah. and it wasn't jiving completely yes. and I wasn't all that happy and I was staying yeah. up late at night right. and I was wishing, my mantra at the time was, well, who's going to pay me to cook? Yeah. I kept oh saying my that gosh. to myself all the time, which is even more chill worthy because right. they said, we would like to pay you to cook. Oh so I started gosh. making recipes one day a week because my little guy was one at the time, okay. so or one and a half. So I started making recipes at home and driving them up to LA, bringing them. They would taste them there on the spot. They'd say, this is a 15 second, this is a 15 second, work on this one, work on this one, kidding? bring it back. This I'd is go the best home. Story. I know, I'd oh go gosh. home, I'd do it all again, and then I'd come up the next week. And that turned into one day a week. And oh then it just grew gosh. from there to where it was like, can you please come work for us full time? That's amazing. To which I said no at first, because I was like, I've got this family, what am I gonna do? And then my husband looked at me one day and he goes you are so happy he oh, goes you are the happiest no. I've ever seen you you can't wait he goes I don't know many people who literally wake up two hours before they need to go to work going can I go yet can I go yet can I leave my house That's yet so cool it was and he goes yeah. you have to do this you have oh. to take it and he goes I know what it's gonna mean oh. I know it's gonna mean it's gonna be a strain on our family mm -hmm. but we'll figure it out oh. he's a figure it out kind yeah, of guy I like him and that's what we did and I really quick one thing I noticed is yeah. when you said who's going to pay me to cook, cook for them I think you put it out in the universe though in more I, of a positive right? way like who's so. gonna pay me to work you know to, whatever maybe I, mean, I feel like you put it out there but you just didn't know it was the positive vibe because I, truly I was probably saying it in like yeah. a uh, yeah. kind who's of a way it, but it was maybe you know I think it, it went was. your way of like it really I don't did know. I kind of feel like sometimes you put stuff out there and like that's yes. a good thing <laughs> yes no oh absolutely gosh. well now that's when funny. I look at the story yeah. in itself and how how it unraveled I'm like absolutely and I certainly prayed on that very hard yeah, as prayer, well prayer is huge yeah that's amazing so what lessons have you learned through all of this besides asking of course yes. you know, but what have you learned and um are you just so much do you, are you calmer do you feel like you're just such a better mom and wife now that you've made this decision and probably a better you know you're probably doing a better job for Quest because you're able to really dive in when you work for them. But I me. that like one, you nailed it 100%. Okay. Now that I feel like I've got this true balance mm -hmm. and that I am that I do have it all because I still teach fitness classes on the side and what we were which talking I've been about to. before. Your you class have, and that, you're an amazing so instructor. Funny. You're an amazing instructor. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. But I, at the time, like I was teaching 12 classes a week and I was oh very scattered gosh. and it was all over the place and I was just trying to earn money yeah. even though I loved what I was doing. But you can't have too much of a good thing. Yeah. You'll beat your body down. Right. So now I teach four glorious, beautiful yes. classes a week that I love. And you're fully there, and present I'm and loving it. Fully I'm there. Sure. And I'm mm -hmm. fully there with, when with I'm at quest, work. And, you're fully and I'm there fully there, there is, when oh. I'm at home. So I think I that's think that's a huge lesson beautiful. is to be fully there. Yes. Like I found my one true thing. So what is that one true thing that you need to do every day to get you closer to your goal? Yes. Um, I used to pride myself on being such a fantastic multitasker. Mm -hmm. 
multitasking is not where it's right. at. So I'm trying to find that one true thing, even if it isn't the thing that I want to do. If it's okay. the thing that's the most important, right. that will get me closer to crossing more things off my list, Good. rather than trying to tackle seven I at once. So I become a, huge a lot fan better of that. at that. Right? So one big thing, kind of like eat that frog, like that, do eat that, that big frog. thing. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So that's mm -hmm. a really, really good one because across things can get chaotic. Well, how did you refer to it as? One true thing? Uh, that one true thing. I love that. And that's I a new book that. that's coming out and I just heard uh, it on a podcast recently. I'm going to use that instead of the frog. I love Brian yeah. Tracy, but that for me just like kind of feels more into, in my heart. Right. You know, one true thing. Okay, yeah, I love it. it's that one true thing that's going to get you there. So that that's a really great <gasps> lesson. And then um, what are some other ones? Uh, just surround yourself with really, really smart people oh, who are constantly bringing you up. And, mm -hmm. and so much of this is a mindset. This is a book that I'm reading right now that, again, Which one? highly recommended. It. It's called Mindset by okay. Carol Dweck. Um, she was actually just featured on mm -hmm. the president's um, new show called uh, Inside Quest. But it's it's changing that mindset into thinking that you you can't change things, mm -hmm. but you but you really can. Oh yeah. And it's it's a growth mindset mm -hmm. versus a fixed mindset. Yeah. And so I was very much in a fixed mindset kind of a way. Like I'm I'm only going to be good at this because or math just isn't my thing. And I've totally changed my way of thinking, yes. and I'm growing. So now I've got a growth mindset, which just allows you to grow exponentially. I love it. And um, yeah, so that's that's my other little oh, tip. And those are huge from tips. There, it's big. Mindset what a is everything. Wonderful company. I am seriously impressed. I know. I know. Gosh, that's great. And um, and then uh, what's next for you? So where where can we find you? And yeah. you know, on Instagram, like, what's your so name? living lean with Aaron at okay. living lean with Aaron on Instagram, and that's okay. where just I, I post my fun recipes. Yeah. I used to do like three a day. Oh boy. Now that I'm working, I'm getting like four yeah. a week. Okay. Um, it's, but they're focused they're, and they're everything really is focused. Good ones. Yeah. yeah. As cute as my kids are, you're not gonna find my kids on that. You're right. just gonna find my recipes. Yeah. Um, on my living lean with Aaron Page on Facebook. It is recipes mixed in with tips, mixed yeah. in with how do you go to the grocery store, mixed in with a little video on how to make mock fried rice out yeah. of cauliflower rice, like oh, all of that so quick excited. stuff. And that's more bringing my health background mm -hmm. and my fitness and merging right. that with the nutrition. And then, of course, Aaron's Test Kitchen, which is just on hiatus right now just because... But we should still go check them out. Because, yeah. Hello, Flynn's adorable. Flynn and the recipes are so words. fun. I'm so proud of you. Like, Thank you. And you just light up the room when you walk in and I I think yeah. it comes from within. Thank I can you. see your happiness like in your eyes. You Thank know what you I mean? I so really, much. really do. And um, I've learned a lot from you today. Really? Yeah. That means so much oh to my me gosh. coming from you. I like really the have learned a lot. Extreme motivator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Extreme motivator. Oh my gosh. Well, thanks so much for coming out. Thank and I'm, you for having I'm proud me. of you for speaking up and for you know following your priorities because you. that's what makes us, you know, the best moms and people and wives that we can be. All right, I loved chatting with Erin. I hope that you enjoyed listening to her. I mean, she's the real deal, seriously. Like, mom, wife, and doing her dream job. That's something we all want, right? And the cool thing that I learned from Erin today is that she made the choice. She had all of these things going, but she knew like what her priorities were. So I hope that you've learned from her that you know you just need to be in touch with your priorities, um, listen to what's going on in your life, and speak up because if you don't ask, you'll never know, you know? And how cool of a company is Quest. So be sure to follow Erin, Living Lean with Erin on Facebook, on Instagram. Check out her YouTube with her son Flynn, so adorable. Check out all of the Quest Nutrition videos that she is part of. She's got famous hands and get that cookbook. But most importantly, I want you to learn from her and take what she talked about today so that you can live your awesome life and find your dream job because you can totally do it. I know you can. Okay, so of course, I want you to click the like button. I want you to subscribe to Molly Motivates. Share this with a friend and give me your comments because I love hearing from you. Thanks so much, see you next time. What is your guilty pleasure television show? Oh, easy, G G Game of Thrones. Oh my God, that's mine. So, okay, can I tell you this really, really fast? This is rapid fire, Erin. Oh, sync or Backstreet Boys? Oh, in sync. Oh, yeah, Justin. it might do. Oh, I know. Justin. Yeah. Okay. I just went to his concert in Vegas. <laughs> oh, like, me too. Well, I didn't do Vegas. I did LA, but he's my boyfriend. He's yeah. not yours. We will arm wrestle. He's for actually him my and... husband's boyfriend. Oh, well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> okay. Holy cow. I didn't Steady know this rapid fire would be like so, so informational. Much knowledge, especially about your husband <laughs> and his boyfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, we do. We fight over, <laughs> over, over Justin. Oh, my gosh.